Let's freeze our enemies. And let's add a custom effect to Minecraft. Forging fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. All right, my friends, welcome back to Intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom effect to Minecraft. Now, this is really freaking amazing because it actually is way easier once again than you might expect. And the effect that we're going to add in this tutorial is going to be a freeze effect. So the general idea is that when this effect is applied to an entity, they can no longer move. That is the idea and it's going to be really freaking awesome. So let's go into the tutorial map package, right click new package called the effect package. And inside of there, we're going to make two new Java classes. One of them is going to be the mod effects class. And the other one is going to be the freeze effect. So this is going to be the freeze effect. So the freeze effect, I will actually copy over the contents of, but you will see that this is very, very straightforward, all things considered. It extends the status effect class right here, and then just calls the super in the constructor. And then we just overwrite the two methods, apply update effect and the can apply update effect methods. This one just returns true. And then here is basically where the magic happens. So this method is called every tick that this effect is applied to a certain entity. And this is then the entity. And this is the amplifier that you can use. And you see basically what we're doing is just, hey, if we're not on the client, we're just logging the actual position of the entity and then teleporting the entity to this and then also setting the velocity to zero. So this is pretty much used for the player and then this is used for the AI because then the velocity basically they're not going to move anymore. And that's literally all that there's to it. So the apply update effect once again is the one that is used for, for the functionality basically called every tick. Now if we middle mouse per click on the status effect class right here, we can also see the apply update effect me method right here and can see some of the, well, vanilla stuff in here as well. Highly recommend checking this out. So this is probably the best place to, well, start looking for some custom effects as well for, you know, how to start to add the functionality to it. And then the question is, what do we do in the mod effects? Well, the mod effects looks, I mean, fairly straightforward. We're going to have a public static status effect of tie or called freeze. And then we're also going to have a public static status effect method, which is going to be the register status effect method with a string parameter called name. And this is going to return a registry dot register registry dot status effect with a new identifier of, of course, tutorial mod dot mod ID, and then the name. And then after that, we're going to make a new freeze effect with the status effect category harmful. And then the color, which is 312467, which is going to be the color of both the potion, which we're going to add in the next tutorials, as well as the particles that float around the player. We also need a public static void register effects method right here, which is going to set the freeze field to register status effects with the name freeze. I found that you will have to do this, otherwise it's not properly going to work. I'm not 100% sure why that is the case. Sometimes, uh, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to go into the tutorial mod class right here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to add this stuff to right here. We're just going to say mod effects dot register effects. And that is pretty much all that we need to do. So of course, in this example, we can only add it. I mean, we can also add it to entities. In this case, we can only add it to ourselves. Now th we're not completely done because we still need to add the translation as well as the actual image that is displayed. So we're going to go into the lang folder into the en underscore us json file at the very bottom. What we're going to do is we're just going to add the effect dot tutorial mod dot freeze. And that's going to be the name. So this is going to be just freeze. And then when it comes to the texture, the texture goes into the textures folder into a new folder, which is going to be mob underscore effect. And then we're going to copy over the PNG right here. So very important, of course, that this name here is the same as this name right here should be fairly self explanatory at this point. But that is pretty much all that we need to add. So I mean, I guess let's jump into Minecraft and see if it works. Oh, right. We found ourselves back in Minecraft. So let's just see. Let's try and give the effect to the player. There we go. And let's see tutorial mod freeze. It exists. So let's give it to me. And there you go. You can see I can't even move the mouse. And if I try to jump or walk, then it does not. It simply doesn't work. You can see there you go. I can try best I can, but nothing works. And you can see here freeze has also been translated and we have the actual well, icon here as well, which is really freaking cool. So you can see, I mean, it's even, it's it's very, it's not very nicely looking when you try to move the camera, but yeah, I mean, it freezes you completely. So that is really freaking awesome. I really like this. And then once the actual effect 
wears off. There you go. Now I can move again and everything working well, totally fine again. And yeah, that's actually how easy it is to add some custom effect to Minecraft. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.